You don't need to take a trip to the Upside Down to spot these spooky details in the new Stranger Things trailer. Freddy Krueger? Hair metal in another world? Here are the small details you missed in the Stranger Things 4 Volume 1 trailer. One thing it doesn't take long to notice in the Stranger Things Season 4 trailer is how much older the main cast appears. In Season 1, Mike, Eleven, Will, Lucas, and Dustin were all in the 11 to 13 range, and by Season 3, most of them were about 14 years old. Season 3 debuted almost three years ago at this point, and the actors playing the kids are all now young adults. By now, the gang has graduated from attending Hawkins Middle School to Hawkins High School, or in Eleven and Will's case, Lenora Hills High School. However, not all of them have adjusted well to the change in schools. Lucas seems to be doing fine as a member of the Hawkins basketball team, but Eleven is still something of a social outcast. While walking through the school halls, other students barely acknowledge her, though her friendship with Will is still strong. Still, the terrors of high school socialization will probably be the least of her worries as shady government organizations and new threats from the Upside Down rear their ugly heads. See you on the other side. On the other side. Though looking a little worse for wear, David Harbour's Jim Hopper is alive, and after somehow being transported to Russia after seemingly dying in the season 3 finale, the only question is how Eleven and her friends will get him back. Thankfully, the new trailer reveals that rescue might come with the help of two old friends that we're pretty sure have no history of flying airplanes. In one frenetic clip, Joyce and Hawkins conspiracy theorist Murray Bauman appeared layered up for winter weather in a biplane going through some major turbulence. Have they somehow tracked Hopper down and set off on their own to rescue him from a Russian gulag? Stranger Things wears its pop culture influences on its sleeves, and Season 4 will once again honor the X-Men. In the latest trailer, Mike Wheeler and Eddie Munson can be spotted wearing Hellfire Club t-shirts, which is a reference to the fictional society in the X-Men comic books whose members have frequently crossed paths with the heroes throughout the years. The easter egg may have a deeper meaning than just a nod to the X-Men. After all, the Hellfire Club is also the name of the premiere episode of Season 4. Furthermore, a previous trailer hinted at what could be another group of superpowered children. Whether that was a flashback to Eleven's time in the lab, or an indication that there's another group of kids getting experimented on, we'll just have to wait and see. Either way, if Season 4 follows up on this, we may see the return of Eleven's sister, Kali. Of course, the X-Men influence on Stranger Things has been evident since Season 1. The very first chapter features a moment where Will and Dustin discuss Uncanny X-Men number 134, the story that introduced Jean Grey's Dark Phoenix persona. Eleven's arc in the show has drawn some comparisons to Jean Grey in previous seasons, considering that Dark Phoenix emerges after a brush with the Hellfire Club in X-Men, fans may want to worry about how Eleven and the Hellfire Club of Stranger Things will intersect. Max Mayfield is featured front and center in this brand new trailer for Stranger Things. Introduced in Season 2, Max has a bit of a tomboy personality and is known for enjoying video games, cars, and skateboards. Early in the trailer, we see her talking at the grave of her brother Billy. Later, in front of the same grave, we see Max levitating several feet above the ground as her friends look on in absolute shock. The mechanism for her levitation is unknown at this point, but there is definitely something supernatural going on. It could be some manifestation of her brother's fatal possession in Season 3, or maybe Max has inherited some kind of power from the Upside Down. Either way, it definitely looks like Max is in for a wild ride, one that could put her on even footing with newfound telekinetic bestie Eleven. Him and Lucas are playing Atari right now. But friends don't lie. Yeah, well, boyfriends lie. All the time. Toward the end of the action-packed trailer, there's a blink-and-you'll-miss-it shot of horror icon Robert Englund with a pretty intense look. The star is best known for playing Freddy Krueger in Wes Craven's Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, a supernatural killer who stalks the dreams of his victims to slaughter them in various inventive, grisly ways. Freddy quickly earned his place in horror history thanks to his unique design, and it's clear that Stranger Things creators, the Duffer Brothers, are huge fans of the movies. There's nothing there. Dylan, what's wrong? Dylan, what's wrong? 
can't stop it. You're scared. Anglin's brief appearance in the trailer reveals the first proper look at Victor Creel. He's a patient at the Penhurst Mental Hospital who is committed for murders he perpetrated back in the 1960s. He's clearly had a bad time since then because, aside from his bedraggled appearance, his eyes are heavily scarred and it looks like he's probably blind. It's not clear if Creel's injuries are self-inflicted or if they're the result of whatever seems to be plaguing his ancestral home, the Creel House. Either way, it's great to see Anglin getting to play with a creepy new character. Near the end of the trailer comes a dizzying sequence of quick cuts, including a few brief shots of a lone electric guitarist playing atop a mobile home trailer while red lightning flashes in the background. The long-haired, leather-clad musician appears to be Eddie Munson, one of several new characters to be introduced in Season 4. The dim lighting and cold colors suggest that he may be in the Upside Down and there are heavy cables behind him that don't appear to be necessary for a guitar amplification. Whether he figures into the new season as a hero or a villain, there's no easy way to tell from the trailer. Since Stranger Things debuted, the Hawkins AV Club has fought the Demogorgon, the Flayed, and the Hulking Mind Flayer, but they're about to meet a terrifying new big bad who looks like he's going to be more than a match for Eleven and the gang. The trailer delivers its first jump scare when a creepy monster opens its eyes, but it's not until the end of the footage that we get a full look at it. The gray, fleshy creature is much more human than the Demogorgon or the Mind Flayer. It's highly likely that this unknown villain is the one providing the narration at the beginning and the end of the trailer, especially since its full reveal comes with the intimidating line, You have lost. The creature's look is pretty gross, as it has no nose and its muscles are stretched and warped across its entire body. There are also a number of tentacles protruding out of its back, and it can clearly use them to move. Considering Season 4 is the beginning of the end, it wouldn't be surprising if this new evil will stick around for Season 5. What this new monster has in store for the kids of Hawkins is unknown. We'll have to find out when Stranger Things 4 Volume 1 arrives on May 27th. But when you say date, just so that we're crystal clear about things. Yeah, so there's no yeah. Stop talking or I can change my mind. Yeah, okay. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about Stranger Things are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.